In our day-to-day -day lives, at work, or in social settings, a lot of things beyond our actions, performance, and competence, although these are very important, matter. I believe that striving for excellence means striving to achieve the highest level you can in every aspect of your life. And make no mistake, this attitude and the result it yields do not go unnoticed. A huge part of the way people perceive you is determined before you even speak to them or work with them. And chances are, if you tick off boxes in other areas of your life, this transfers to your work, the way you do things, or whichever activity binds you to these people whose impression of you matter to a certain extent. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jason, I go by FlyJV. I just landed in Marseille, France. In today's video, we'll talk about hygiene as an airline pilot. Hygiene as an airline pilot or whatever job you do, even if you're unemployed, hygiene is very important. Now the reason why I'm putting an emphasis on aviation is because first of all, I'm an airline pilot. Most people who watch this channel are aspiring pilots, student pilots, or airline pilots, or whatever type of pilots there are, right? So it is very important because in our jobs, we usually fly multi-pilot airplanes. And what is a multi-pilot airplane? is an airplane where the cockpit contains two pilots. Now two pilots inside a cockpit is a very restrained and small environment. You're close to somebody, okay? And you need to be very clean. You need to have a lot of hygiene to be able to work that close to somebody else. Now as a student pilot, it should be important to you to have hygiene when you're flying with your flight instructor because he doesn't want to fly with somebody who is dirty, who smells bad, etc etc so hygiene is very important and it's something that is not talked about enough when we talk about all these aviation videos so in today's video i'm going to give you the essentials about hygiene as an airline pilot right let's get into it guys impressions the way you look okay your skin your smell etc it all marks it, it all checks very important boxes when it when it comes to how people will perceive you and how people will treat you it's called the halo effect okay so all of these come into account when people judge you and the way people treat you. So if you're a student pilot and you want your instructor to treat you well, the fact that you have good hygiene is already a first step into doing that. Now the rest of the steps will have to do with your actual performance and you actually studying, but it's still important for you to have that in mind. Now let's get into it. First things first, we'll talk about the mouth, okay? Oral hygiene, teeth, tongue, etc. The most important piece of advice I can tell you about this is first of all, we're not in the stone age. You need to get a mechanical toothbrush. You can't be using a manual toothbrush like in this day and age if you really want to be clean because it's going to take you longer to achieve the same result that this will achieve without you having to do anything. So get a a uh, mechanical toothbrush or so this one automatic, okay? I recommend, highly recommend Son, uh, Philips Sonicare, which is the one that I use. Okay, in Philips Sonicare, you can actually take this off and change it when you need to, okay? So you can change this over here. You can buy a box at your local store and that's pretty much it so the way it goes is boom you literally just press the button and then it goes automatic now you start with the bottom you put it at a 45 degree angle like this okay put it at a 45 degree angle just go like this for like about 30 to 40 seconds or maybe a minute depending on how much you want to clean it okay and then you do the same thing for the back side okay Rinse and repeat for the top, and then when you're done, you'll do the same for here, 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 and your tongue. Now that we're done with the actual brushing itself, we need to talk about something that is very important for the breath, because brushing is mainly for the teeth. You can brush your tongue, but brushing your tongue is not as efficient as brushing your teeth, because that's what a toothbrush is made for. For your tongue, you need to have a tongue scraper. It is an essential. A tongue scraper is this. This is a tongue scraper, okay? You can buy this anywhere, like at a pharmacy, whatever. You get a tongue scraper, it is very, very important because this is what is going to, it's like the great equalizer for breath. Like you use a tongue scraper and you will have normal breath like it's supposed to be. Like a lot of people think using a mouthwash and using gum is normal after brushing your teeth. No, it's not. Mouthwash and gum is an addition to what you already have, which is the tongue scraper. The tongue scraper, you use it by first using this side, the side with these, okay? And then you use this side to finish. Like this side is a lot harder, so you have to make sure that you're very gentle on your tongue because it, it really will scrape and get all of the dirt all off of your tongue and you'll have like very fresh breath. So 
once you've done that if you want to add a bonus then you can go with mouthwash or gum i prefer using gum because i just prefer like being able to use it whenever i want instead of like using mouthwash it's just my personal preference and gum is something that helps me like focus as well so i can use it when i'm at work i can use it anytime and also it's good for your jaw like to develop your jaw muscles as well if you're into that so that's pretty cool another bonus that you can add even beyond that is you can use whitening strips so you have crest whitening strips it's something that you can use for that hygiene as well uh it is not mandatory but it's just something you can do if you if you're into that kind of thing okay um you have to put this on you have to put this, like every every one of these bags have two strips okay so you have one for your lower teeth and one for your upper teeth okay and uh you wear these for 30 minutes and you're good you need to understand that white teeth is not natural white teeth is just an aesthetic thing if you really want to have that aesthetic effect you can use these or you can use the laser ones that you can find at the pharmacy that you put in your mouth and you just wait until it, uh, it's done with the cleaning now that we're done with the mouth hygiene let's talk about the body itself right so the body for obviously you need to take a shower when you take showers it is very important that man you can't be just rinsing yourself with water and then focusing on your armpits your crotch and your butt like you can't be doing this all the time like obviously you can do it from time to time but at least two three times a week you'll have to use shower on your whole body like and the best way to do this is to use a, um, a washcloth and uh, I'll just show you what a washcloth looks like it's literally a towel like this is what I used yesterday for my shower okay you use this to literally scrub your body your, your, not your body your body okay uh, you can have multiple like I have about seven like small washcloths and um, basically what you do is you'll start with your face okay and the reason why I use a washcloth, a white one, uh, that is because it will show you the actual dirt. Like you will actually see the dirt coming off. Like when you finish wiping your face, you'll see the dirt. And I promise you that seeing these results will change your life because you will want to do it over and over again. You'll want to keep repeating that behavior because you'll know how much dirt is actually accumulated on your face. Now, how many times you should do it a week really depends on your activity, how sweaty you've been, did you go to the gym, how much activity, like physical activity you did during the day right but just think about it and then when you're done with your face you'll go with your body and then your back your arms and then your legs okay now armpits and you know all the nether areas make sure you don't use a washcloth there like you can just use your hand and soap or you use like other types of scrubbing material don't use a washcloth for that because you're going to be wasting it and you won't be able to reuse it on your body like uh, you can use it probably like twice uh before having to change it like the thing is for me when i use my washcloth to wash my body is you wash your body okay and then once it becomes like brown because of the dirt you just wash it and you reuse it again and then the the the, the goal is to have it white when you're done with your body part so let's say i wash my face i look at it it's brown wash my face again a little bit brown wash my face again it's completely white then i can move on to the next step that's how it goes then you hop out the shower okay what you want to do when you hop out the shower you want to maintain that fresh cleanliness you will use uh roll-on so i use roll-on like this okay 48 hour protection it's uh make sure you get one that does not leave marks like for example on your armpits when you wear shirt and stuff like that so that's what i use you can use deodorant directly that you apply like this i don't like using this because i don't like the feeling of it i'd rather have a roll-on like this that feels drier on my body and then that's pretty much it now the rest is just details these are really the most important ones but then the rest is mostly has to do with your hair and your beard and just being trimmed now depending on which airline you fly for you might not have the right to have a beard obviously i fly for an airline where i can maintain a beard so if you have a beard something i can i can recommend if you're into that is using castor oil so i use castor oil and i have this right here okay so i'll use this i'll, I'll apply some i apply some water in it put it in the water in the castor oil and then I'll just like apply it like this on my beard now I don't do it as often anymore because now my beard is actually starting to grow more okay and I used to I used to be like oh I need my castor oil so I can get my beard to grow but now that my beard is actually starting to grow I'm not that worried about it anymore but it does help to keep it moisturized and prevent it from from, from and preventing it from scratching right so that's uh, pretty cool now the rest will have to do with your hair with your hair obviously we all have different hair types so basically use shampoo and use a uh, moisturizer a few times during the week like make sure you don't use too much shampoo that's not good and moisturizer you can use it 
Honestly, moisturizer, you can almost use it every day, but I like, use it a few times a week. But shampoo should be limited to two or three times a week for most people. And then, uh, yeah, you have your combs, etc. Moving on, moisturizing your actual body. Um, obviously, if you watch my videos, you might have noticed, if you've paid very close attention, that I am black. So, contrary to my Caucasian counterparts, right, I get very dry skin, okay? So, my skin gets ashy. So I need to moisturize, and moisturizing is not just for black people, it's for everybody, so. What I do is, I have two different types of lotion. I have one that I use for my face, and I have one that I use for my body. Now, my face, me personally, I have very acne-prone skin. So I use either Neutrogena, which is very light and watery type of substance that you can put on your, on your face to moisturize it, or I use Lipicaf, which is very good for the type of skin that I have. Okay, and you just apply it on your skin, and uh, that's it for the face. And then for my body, I use either cocoa butter or Dexeril or something like Biogarant, which is this one right here, which is uh, odorless and doesn't have much except water and a few components to just make your body hydrated. So that's what I use, okay? Now, last but not least, cologne. You need to have cologne. You need to have a fragrance, especially as a man, it's very important to have a fragrance. When you put your clothes on, you want to have a fragrance that you use. So me, I have three colognes of choice. Even though I have three colognes, colognes of choice, before I get into it, I need to say something very important. You cannot be switching colognes daily. Like you can't be doing that. You have to maintain a fragrance for at least minimum a month, like one month at a time. Like you can't be switching every day because your, your cologne, your scent, your fragrance has to be personal to you. People have to recognize you from your fragrance. When you walk into a room, you don't want people to be like, oh, who's this? And then turn around and say, oh, it's Jason, no. They should recognize you from your fragrance because they're so used to smelling it on you. So my first cologne of choice is Dior Sauvage, okay? That's just that's just me. My second one is Stronger With You and my third one is Terre d'Hermes. Usually I'll be rocking my Dior Sauvage. I don't usually go for Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum. I go for Parfum because it's a lot, it's, a, it's, more, it's much stronger. I can, I can use less sprays before I leave the house. So I can use three to four sprays. And then when I put my suit on for the flight, I'll just add maybe two or three sprays on that as well. And then I can move up. So got my Dior Sauvage right here. Now also bonus information, okay, in terms of hygiene, you need as an airline pilot to develop the habit to get kits like these, okay? You need these little like kits where you can put all of your, your essentials. Like I put, you can put like all types of things in there. Okay, you can put, uh, like medicine, you can put combs, you can put a uh, razor in there, all types of stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions about anything that I just said or if you have anything to add. But always remember that your hygiene and the way you present yourself goes a really long way in terms of your career and in terms of the way that people perceive you. When you're a pilot, you need to talk like a pilot, act like a pilot, move like a pilot, walk like a pilot, do everything like a pilot, and you have to smell like a pilot, okay? And have the hygiene of a pilot, that's very important. So it's not all about the technical knowledge all of the time. It's not all about the lifestyle all of the time. You need to think about the basics, okay? If you wanna be able to fly planes, if you wanna be able to be a certain type of person, the basics have to be on par with these things that you do as well. So I hope this video makes sense to you, and I'll see you guys later i got a flight in about eight hours i'm gonna i'm about to go get some sleep pack my stuff and i'm out guys fly jb forever so that's number two consideration number three consideration is the operational takeoff weight of the day now depending on the temperature